What is up you guys? My name is Tyler Golden. It's time for another vlog. Alright, so I'm trying to look. Because I know I have it somewhere. Here we go. So, I think for vlogs, I'm definitely going to wear the fedora in games. I'll wear the fedora at times. I don't know. Ah, but, ah. Uh, there are so many good games out there nowadays. It's really awesome to see how many games there are out there nowadays. But one thing that kind of sucks is like there's so many different generations of consoles. And there are like so many consoles that are pretty much like you may never find a game for it or the game that you want for it again. Like I, I've been playing Metal Gear Solid Five: The Phantom Pain on PS3. And that was the last game I've... That's the last game that I got for the PS3 right now. I mean, I'm not saying I'm done getting games for the PS3, but that's the last game that I got for the PS3, and it's like the last most recent one. Uh, one thing I hope uh, doesn't happen is uh, like sports games, because I'm a big WWE fan, and I've got a ton of WWE games. Like, let me show you here. And... This is the truth here. I'm just pulling out all of the WWE games that I got, if I can find them. Wherever they may be. So there's that one. That's not one. Those two are. So I pretty much have like all the PS3 game or all the PS3 WWE games. Because I mean I got WWE 12, got 13, I got four, 2K14, uh, 2K15, and uh, 2K16. Eh, what I hope is like when 2K17 comes around, which that may be like at the next Hell in a Cell pay-per-view, because that's usually when they start like saying, oh, it's coming out, which I guess may be October? Maybe thingy, I don't know. Is it October? It, it's usually around like the end of the year that they start doing it. But uh, uh I really, really want to keep on getting WWE games for a while. So I hope like 2K doesn't just give up on the PS3 uh, WWE games and I actually keep going with them for a few years. So that way I could like you know, slowly ease myself into the next generation, the PS4. And, um, and I say slowly ease because I don't, I'm not making a lot of money right now. I'm definitely not. I mean, if I, I could go to my, I could go and just buy one right now because I have like $450 in checking, but... Well, I probably couldn't even do that. I do have savings with 1500 but I'm not going to use that because that's like emergency money right there. But, uh, console generation to console generation. It's like so many generations are gone. I have PS1 games. I have PS2 games. I have PS3 games. I have PSP games. I have DS games. Game, well, I used to have Game Boy games, but I don't even have a Game Boy anymore. Nor do I have anything to play a Game Boy with. It seems like the only generation that's really worth anything nowadays is, like, PC. Like, consoles, the, it feels like they're dying, somewhat. Because when you go to, like, a computer or a laptop or something, you could play pretty much a any game that was pretty much made for uh, a computer or a laptop or anything like that. You could find it and you could just get it. I mean, they still make the games. They have, like, digital copies, you know? Like, I could probably go on Steam at some point, and I could search, like, oh, let's look for The Sims, like the original Sims, and it's like, there it is, or, you know, just something. It, I, I'm not dissing console, or I'm not dissing PC or console, because I love both. It's really hard. PC versus console. It's like, PC has great benefits, but console, it just, like, it has a certain... Let's think of it like this. On a PC, if you want to play, like, top quality games, you gotta get a beefed up PC. 
All right, if you want to play the game, if you want to play like games that you would find on a console, you would have to get like a really high powered. P you would have to get like a really, prof or a really good powered PC. Like if like Call of Duty is one thing a lot of people play. Uh, on YouTube, but they record from their. Uh, I'm guessing more than likely they record from their console, unless I'm mistaking, and they actually play from their computer. But think of it like this: with the console, uh, you can play, pretty much play any game that they make for that console. And at times there's backwards compatibility, like the PS3. It doesn't. It has backwards computer compatibility with PS1 games, but not PS2 games that with the one that I got, which kind of sucks, and it's kind of pointless if you ask me. But all PS3 games, I've played them. No problem. No glitching or anything like that. I mean, if I played online, like I played online when I was up in Maine, and uh, that, and I mean, I didn't have terrible lag, but lag is something that you kind of have to deal with, you know? But, um, if you play, like, a console game, you can pretty much play any quality game on there as it is. Like, if it's a PS3 game, you can play, like, any PS3 game on there in, in the best quality or anything like that. But if you try to play that same game on, like, a computer or something, it's like, you gotta have a beefed-up computer, you know? Because uh, you'll be able to run the game, but it may be, like, a terrible frame rate. If that if that makes sense, but the benefits of being on PC is like you could pretty much play any game at any, or you could pretty much play like every game. Like I could find a, I could find like an emulator, like a PS2 emulator or something, or I could just find like a P or like a a PC version of a game that was made on like the PS2 or the PS3 or something, and I could just play it on here, you know. There, there are benefits and uh, there are benefit or there are pros and cons to like both things. Like if you get a really high powered PC, you really won't have. That's all the money you'll really have to buy, and you can pretty much play every game there. But it's gonna cost a lot of money. If you go with a console, you could pretty much play every game that they make for it, but when the new generation comes out and you want to play those games, you're going to have to get that generation of console. Uh, it's hard, you know? It's hard to really think of what's better. Is it console or PC? I mean, in the long run, yes, the computer, uh, it may be good and all that, but what if something like screws up on the computer, you know? It's kind of like, what if something screws up on the, like, what if something screws up on the computer to where you can't play it, or play the game, you know? Like, you get viruses or anything like that, because I don't think, because, I don't think you're able to just get a virus on a PS3. Like, I don't think it's that simple, unless I'm, like, totally wrong, then you guys are probably going to correct me in the comments below, but your, P your PC is a bit more successful, or, it's a bit e it's more likely to screw up, is what I'm trying to say. I mean, you'll have your Xboxes with your Red Ring of Death, or your PS, or your Playstations with the pulsing light of death. Me, I just got a PS3, and you know, I'm fine with that. I I'm fine. I've, I've loved Playstation. I've never enjoyed Xbox. Xbox, it, it just doesn't appeal to me. It's overhyped, if you ask me. Because... I really haven't heard of any PS3s screwing up so bad. I mean, I've heard of like the Xboxes getting, uh, the Xbox 360s getting this red ring of death. And, uh, it, it's just like, yeah, you're, you get to see that your Xbox is screwed up. There's like really no way to fix it. You gotta get a new Xbox and all that stuff. And it's like, oh, fuck. So, uh, I've seen people get the, I've seen uh, people on YouTube get like the red ring of death and they get so pissed and it's like you got so emotionally attached to an Xbox and it got the red ring of death and now you're pissed. And it's like PS3 doesn't get a red ring of death. It doesn't get a red light of death. No. PS3 is actually really good, which is why I've stuck with it. I mean, they were the they were the basically like one of the original CD 
CD bringers into the world. Like Nintendo, they had like cartridges and all that. I'm getting off track. Uh, uh, let's get back on track. PC versus console. Console, you don't get like viruses, but on, but you can like pretty much get a, you pretty much buy everything and put a computer together and that's that. But there are viruses. It's a bit of a toss up really as to what's better. I'm bringing this topic up because what what I want to do is I want to have like console games and PC games on uh, on uh, my YouTube channel, you know. And I've just been doing vlogs and a few indie games here and there, but I want to get like some mainstream brands up, or mainstream games up there, you know. And uh, I see that there's a uh, what is it? There, there's like. I have Metal Gear Solid Five: The Phantom Pain, and uh, I was on YouTube yesterday, and I was like looking. It was like, how do I record console game, or how do I record like PS3 gameplay? And then there was something I came up, and it was like, oh, you could record PS3 gameplay without a or without a capture card. Just use a USB. And I'm like, a USB? Really? Why do I find this hard to believe? So I looked up all the videos and they were like, oh, get Snagit 12, get Snag, or get Snagit, get Snagit. And I was like, everybody's saying that. And I've had people say that it works on these, com or people have said that it works on these comments. So I was like, all right, I got Snagit 12, which is the latest one. And I got me a 64, a 64 gig uh, flash drive. And, uh. I'm trying out what they say and it doesn't work and then I watch the videos later on and I look at the comment and it's like, oh yeah, it doesn't work. They just patched Snag at 12 and you know, you can't get your, they can't record console games anymore. It's like, the fuck are you leaving this video up for then? Take it down, damn it. Don't make us have to read the comments in order to know that this doesn't work. So, this is probably going to be wasted which sucks, but there were people who said that if you were to get like an earlier version, like Snagit 11, Snagit 11 or something, you may be able to record it. You may be able to record gameplay on there. I want to know something, guys. You guys probably can help me out more than anything. I am looking for a way to record PS3 gameplay and I want it to be like something cheap because I can't spend a whole lot of money, you know? I spent 20 bucks on this and it's wasted. 64 gig memory card right there. And... Uh, I should have known that wouldn't have worked, but if you got... I heard... Or, I heard that it would work. I tried it. It didn't work. And I'm pissed at it. It sucks. If you guys know a way to where I could just record PS3 gameplay, just from just from like there, find a way I don't know to connect it up, and I could use a PS3 screen right here, you know, like this as a PS3 screen, and then if I could just like somehow put like a screen recorder on here and use that, that would really help me, you know. It would really, really help me. Because I've been trying for so... I've been trying for a long time to try to record a PS3 gameplay. And I've heard people say, Oh, record it on your iPhone. Just get video crop. And it's like, fuck video crop. I'm not doing this bullshit. I'm not doing that bullshit. It's not good. I, I People on YouTube expect like 1080p nowadays, you know? They, they want, like, HD game, or, like, 720p or 1080p, you know? I just want to get, like, I tried looking for a capture card. Uh, Walmart didn't have any, neither did the game sh store here, so I may have to go up to Medford at some point and, like, I don't know, Best Buy or something, because I, I think I, or something. Let me see what kind of cards I got in here. A lot of cards, a lot of cards. Ooh, I got a Best Buy card. Which I may have to clean off. 
Um, I got a target card. I got my card there. Got a GameStop card, which that's probably good for nothing. Uh, I used to be a uh, Power Up Rewards member for GameStop. I don't know if they still do that or not, but yeah, I used to do that, and uh, I would get Game Informer issues, and I enjoyed getting Game Informer issues. That it was great, you know. I just, you know, it's just weird, you know. I need a capture card to try to record my PS3 gameplay. I'm not saying that's weird or anything, but it's like. I hope that it just works, you know? Something simple, like, I could just plug it up to the cord, and I may have to get, like, a second set of cords just to connect from the capture card to the TV or something. And then, just... <sighs> like, it goes through the capture card, and it records it and puts it in MP4, and then I just bring it over to my laptop here and just plug it in, I don't know, USB or something, pull the video out and just do that, which is something I really hope it is, you know? I really hope it is. Because, you know, I don't want things to be too complex to run a YouTube channel. Like, things are good enough as they are, you know? Just record the screen, record my face cam, and uh, just encode or turn the screen recording into an MP4 video or a WMV video, and then just make the vi or edit the video in like an editing software, and then put the face cam in and all that stuff, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I, I think I've rambled on long enough. I, I've given pros and cons about PC versus uh, console, and I really hope that. And uh, I've asked you guys if you've known if you know a way to like record cheap uh, or like really good, like decent quality, but like cheap budget uh, PS3 gameplay because I really want to get into that. I really want to try to expand a little bit to where I don't have to worry about this because, you know, I, f I think a controller is better is better suited in my hand. I I've played controller a lot of my life rather than, uh, you know, a mouse and a keyboard. Alright, anyway, I'm going to leave this video here. I have went on way too damn long, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like it, please hit that like button. As always, don't forget to subscribe. More! Vlogs will be coming in the future, I promise you that. But until next time, I will see you in the next video. Peace out! Oh, that... <laughs> that worked out clean.